Hello my Wolfpack and welcome to another Spyro Reignited Trilogy video. So today I'm talking about Hunter. I think Hunter is absolutely fantastic. Was a, a character that I was really, really excited to see. Obviously if you watch my top five characters, I can't wait to see in the Reignited Trilogy. That is such a mouthful. Uh, if you watch that video, then you'll know that Hunter was my top choice and I really could not wait to see him. And then like two days later, we saw him in the skate park theme. And yesterday we saw this, just the general Hunter that we are going to see throughout the general home worlds uh, when he's not wearing his wetsuit, his backpack, or his, um, uh, his uh, skateboarding jeans. So I'm not shorts, they're skateboarding jeans now. Um, so I'm going to first talk about uh, the Hunter we saw in yesterday and then I'll talk about the Skate Park Hunter and kind of I want to go over some differences between them as well. So first of all we have the original Hunter, I've just got the one picture because I thought that it covers it really well. Um, he's not wearing jeans, he's not wearing jeans, um, I know some people wanted him to wear jeans, some people didn't want him to wear jeans. But I think that he looks absolutely fantastic without them regardless. Uh, I really love kind of the wristband thing that he's got going on there. I think it's just a nice little addition. Kind of adds a bit more to his kind of aesthetic uh, rather than just him being really plain. Uh, his face in this just looks really kind of Hunter. It's a stereotypical Hunter. I feel that the Spyro 2 Hunter that we saw is very very similar to the Spyro 2 original Hunter and the Spyro 3 Hunter that we saw, um, kind of the klutziness of him and like just how, how much of a kind of an idiot he really is. Uh, I really love the kind of sash that he's got going on there. I'm curious if that's to um, have a quiver on it or something, or maybe it's just something that he, he holds in general. Uh, maybe his backpack's going to be also like that as well, um, to just have the one across it, which I wouldn't mind. I think that's it's kind of cool. And he's got that little kind of like armband up the top on his uh, right arm as well, which is kind of cool as well. I saw a couple of people talking about the fact that he had his spots arranged in a very specific tattoo line. Uh, I'm not sure if that was an intended um, mechanic in the first game, or not mechanic, but intended design in the first game. Uh, but I don't see that they have done it in this game, but I think that they've just made him pretty awesome. I love that he's got kind of that chest fur going on a little bit longer than the rest of his body, which generally you'll find in a lot of animals that they're, uh, the fur around their chest area is a lot kind of thicker, a lot longer. Um, I really like his look. In this picture in particular, he looks... He, he looks Hunter, he looks Hunter. I like that little that little um, cheeky kind of smile, like, hmm, I just got lost, hmm, sort of thing. Um, his eyes, again, are really cool. He looks, uh, his eyebrows are really good as well. I think they've done just a really good job uh, in general. I think he, he just, he looks very, not similar to the original Hunter, but he's kind of got that, that demeanour of Hunter. And he is, he is an orange, he is... Um, Obviously more yellow. He's more cheetah-like, I believe, than in the original. Um, he's got quite, again, a flat face. Kind of a comment that I have been making that, um, that a lot of the secondary characters have been getting quite a flat face. But he has got a bit of a protrusion on his nose there as well. So I honestly really, really do like Hunter. I think that he looks fantastic. Can't see a tail in this picture, but we do know he has a tail from the footage of Sunny Villa. And I'm not sure if we saw it in this footage anyways. Uh, but I really think that he's going to be great. I just really hope that he maintains his kind of clumsy stupidness um, along with having that kind of vanity that he's better than Spyro in some ways and like kind of the patronising teaching aspect as well. I really hope that just the general demeanour and everything of Hunter does remain the, sta the same. And now we have the Skate Park Hunter, which he does look a little bit different here. Um, his colours are slightly different, uh, whether that's just kind of the differences between the two games or whether it's just the angle and kind of colouring of the... Uh, general like area that's kind of caused that. Um, I love the jeans. I love that he's wearing jeans rather than skate shorts. I think that it's just a really cool touch. The jeans suit him so well, which I know sounds really weird, but I think they really do. Uh, you can obviously see his tail there as well. Uh, he's wearing the kneecaps, he's wearing um, elbow pads, and he's wearing the helmet as well. They all look like he there is. It's promoting safety, which you know is a very important aspect of society. You need to promote some safety, especially with the skateboarding. I love his skateboard. I believe it's very similar to what his original skateboard was. Um, I'm pretty sure it did have a lightning bolt on it, uh, but I can't remember that off the top of my head. Uh, but I think the, the, the change out from the shorts to the jeans was is a little bit of an odd one, but I think it will definitely work. I think that it, it does really kind of work and that shorts may have been a bit kind of weird on him. Um, I, I like his kind of ascetic here, he's very much skater dude, uh, whether he's just going to be skater dude in these areas, because I found that in the Spyro 2 footage, um, the kind of opening scene, he was he was more himself, he was more like he was 
in the actual game, but here he's very um, relaxed, kind of skater dude, and the way his voice is is very skater dude as well. But again, in the other footage, it wasn't as much skater dude, so I, I don't know if it's just going to be kind of his putting on this act uh, for Spyro when he's in, got his skateboard gear on, which I wouldn't be surprised because it feels like a very Hunter thing to do. But yeah, that is probably it for today. I just kind of want to go over Hunter in a little bit more detail and like just talk about why I love him so much. And I really, really do like the look. I think that they've done such an amazing job. Toys of World really deserve kind of a hand for uh, their secondary characters so far because I think that they are looking super. But yes, yeah, so that is all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe and comment. Let me know if you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out here. So have a good one and I'll see you soon. <laughs>